Okay, OLED display. Pretty simple. You hook up your four wires, ground, power, SCL, SDA, to the board, like the manual says. When you come into your config file, you're going to add define enable underscore SSD 1306, and that enables it to work. It'll then show you things right off the bat without doing anything. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. So you get this nice little splash screen saying it's Profi OS. Then it comes to this battery meter. So that was the boot sound that played. And now it's going to show me this battery meter. The end of your presets. In the quotes here at the end, this is like the name of your font. Usually matches or is something to do with the font you have chosen. Okay, this is what's going to be displayed on the screen. When you type something here, you kind of want to keep it all lowercase uh, instead of mix caps or whatever because the font that gets used is called Star Jedi and it doesn't map, it's an all caps font, so it doesn't map like capital letters to the correct letters at all times, like you put Darth Maul with a capital D and this might come out as an R, so it'll say Rarth Maul. Um, so just to keep it working the way you expect, just use all lowercase letters. And if you want to have, it's a two line display. So if you want it all on one line, you just put it straight in there like that. If you want to have it top line and the bottom line, you can put in a line return, which is this. It's just backslash n, lowercase, uh, with no spaces or anything. That's just like hitting return. So that's going to print Darth on the top line, Maul on the second line. And that just works um, for all of your presets. You can pretty much make it say whatever you want. And it shows this when you switch presets. Okay, so here's going to another preset. It's the test font. Okay, so it says test font. It is all caps because that's what the font is, but that was all one line. If I go to the next preset, Darth Maul. And now you got Darth Maul. All caps, but it's on two different lines. Okay, so that's about all it does without adding some new images and things, but it will always show you what you have here. If this has nothing, or if you don't, if this doesn't even exist at the end of your um, preset and it just ends like this, then you'll have nothing. Then it'll just stay on the battery level. Um, so I'm just going to undo that. So let's add some stuff that makes it look better. So what you can do. Is, let's stick with this changing preset where it would show you test font. Okay, I'm going to go into my SD card here. I'm going to go into my test font font folder. All right, and right now there's just waves in here. What we're going to add is a BMP image file. It is a two color 128 by 32 pixels is the size of the BMP file that you need. Um, for example, here's one that if, let's say, you had Kenobi Clone Wars font and you wanted this to display when you switch to that preset. Uh, I just kind of have this as like a library of stored BMPs. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my SD card, back into my test font, just for now. It's not going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi, but we'll get the point. Uh, and I pasted it here, and I'm going to rename that to font.bmp. So it'll play font.bmp when you switch to a new font, to a new preset. So now let's switch presets and see what that looks like. Okay, so we switch to the test font preset now, and... It's the test font! We get the image that we put in there. Okay, back to the folder. All right, and notice that that was inverse coloring of what you see in this image here. Now here's where it gets interesting. This is a single frame, and you can see it's 128 by 32 pixels big. The way the OLED will display animations, it's very much like an old cell drawn cartoon. It'll play one frame at a time, or like film, it's frame by frame. And the way you arrange this 
to play frame by frame is you will stack you'll get these probably but if you want to make them yourself you stack the images on top of each other and it reads them each section of 32 pixels down at a time so for an example let's look at this Darth Maul one now you can see it's this long skinny thing so let's open that and take a closer look all right I'm gonna zoom in here because you can't really see it and you can see it's the same image stacked on top of itself uh, this is 1280 tall so if we just do the math and say 1280 divided by 32 you get 40 so we have a 40 frame animation here because there's 40 frames and if you look at the subtle differences as it goes down he's got his hilt drawn then he's igniting this one this blade right and then you scroll down and now he ignites the other blade and he's got his blades out so that's the animation of him igniting two blades and this will loop for a duration you can set in the config.ini file in your font and you can find out the parameters in the TRA thread that's linked in this post but just to use it okay uh, since this is already made and again notice it's inverse this is going to be a white background he's going to be dark the saber blades are going to come out dark okay we're going to take this stacked looping animated BMP file because of the way it's built I'm going to stick that I'm going to copy it I'm going to go to my test bed and I'm going to stick it in the Darth Maul font that I had in the test config if I can remember what it's called yeah it's Mauler and I'm going to paste that in here I'm going to call that font which I probably already have in here so it's like just walk out nope all right so now when we switch to that preset we should have an animated mall and it loops a couple times and then it gets you back to your battery meter so that worked so now you can also do it with other things like boot blast clash force lock on anytime those events happen it's going to display the BMP file that you have named for that event and it's very much just like the you know the sounds the wave files it's just image files so they get triggered on the dis on the OLED display when you make those things happen so let's do boot for example this is a favorite boot of myself and probably many others it's like this animated spinny bar graph thing okay now these are I just want to say courtesy of the crystal focus 10 BMP collection uh, there is a contributors text file in here this is important uh, Irv Proton Gamer and our friend Tatsuro Hamada uh, have been contributing these images so thanks guys for having them um, and again you can make these yourself if you get into Microsoft Paint and do pixel by pixel kind of painting stuff and you're good you can do that you can also convert other things like movie clips and images down to that correct resolution and make more interesting things that's the more advanced stuff and I'll save that for later in the video let's just add the other sounds now okay so let's say boot uh, I was saying that this one is cool it's the spinning thing with some bar graphs so same deal you just take the one you like if you're just you know copying them from somewhere or if you just made it and let's put that in the Darth Maul folder because that's where I left off and you just want to make sure that it's named the appropriate thing in this case I copied and pasted it in there it's just boot.bmp and now let's reset the board and watch what it does when it boots so now I'm resetting with our new boot file booting up and as you see that totally didn't work now why didn't that work because I left it on the test font preset and I added the boot BMP it's a good thing it showed up wrong I'll show you how things can freak you out don't freak out 
uh, it just started on the wrong preset. I only have two presets in this config. Um, so it started up on the other preset. So what I'm going to do is wait for my SD card to eject again. I'm going to go to the next font, which we did as Darth Maul, and I'm going to reboot the board while I'm here. Because this at is. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. So at last we will have revenge. And now you get that frame by frame animation play for the boot event. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. This is new, and I haven't even tried this yet, so we always like doing that on camera. So thanks to Matt McGeary, aka SA22C, uh, now we can also have an animation for other things. Uh, usually it was just font and boot in the past, now we've got blast, clash, force, on, lock, and I'm sure there's more to come. But for now, I have never done an on before. It always just does the font animation, and then it goes to battery meter, and it sits there. And I don't need the battery meter necessarily all the time. Um, I don't know how much this is going to play into battery usage or lag times when it's trying to split playing these animations while playing all the sounds and driving your LED blade. Um, can't speak to that yet, but I'm going to try this for the first time. Uh, I have a couple here that I got from the Facebook group, I think, from Tatsuo himself. Or um, it, it's here as one static image. It would just stay there. I'd like a little animation. Here's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. It's about a 15 frame or so animation. And it's called on.bmp. So I'm going to copy that. I'm gonna stick that in the Darth Maul folder, font folder, right? So now that's in there. So now when we start up the blade, this should run um, until we shut the blade off. Let's see what happens. Okay, just keep in mind that, you know, with the magic of editing, I am ejecting the SD card from the computer each time so the board can recognize it. That's happening after each of these file transfers, you know, in the background, in the, in the cut. Um, so you'll, you'll have to do that. We're going to do Darth Maul, right? So here's the font BMP playing. And now we're going to try turning it on. See what happens. Yeah, look at that. We have an animation running. While it's on, it's going to play that animation. Turn it off, we go back to battery meter. So that was cool. That worked. So hopefully that explains it. Uh, you're welcome to this entire BMP collection that I have. Uh, you can also just go to the Plector website and download the CFX default package. Uh, there's a folder called BMP collection in there, I believe. They got it first, all credit there. They have all kinds of stuff in here. There's animations, there's games. They do a lot with the OLED on CFX. Uh, but for Profi, it's kind of an afterthought, but it can work in the ways that we looked at. Um, yeah, so that's basics. Part two I could do it some other time would be how to go about making this kind of stuff. Like I made a Slave 1 animation to go with a Slave 1 font, and it is pretty much a screen capture of this Slave 1 from Attack of the Clones, zooming in, swooshing by, and approaching that planet. Took that scene and rendered it into a BMP stacked frame, and it looks like this. So. Things can be done, and of course you're limited to this very small pixel space, but it's fun. Um, yeah, hope that helps.